So we're going to go over an introduction to how to use a microscope. And I'm just going to have you watch while I show you some of the parts of the microscope and how to use them. Okay, so first of all, all of these microscopes need to be plugged in. This one already is. But before it got here to this counter, I carried it here. And one important thing that when you get back to school and you're back in a classroom or you get a job and maybe you have to use a microscope, is they're really quite expensive and delicate instruments. And so when we carry a microscope, we always use a two-hand rule. Right? One on the bottom and, and one in a good place to grab so that it's well supported and you're not likely to swing it around and bang into something. It has an on off switch right here. I just turned it on and when I turn it on, the light comes on and puts light up to the stage where the slide is going to be. We can control the intensity of the light with this knob here. It's a dimmer knob that can start reducing the amount of light that reaches the slide, or in the other direction, increasing the amount of light that reaches the slide. And depending on the thickness of the slide and what you're looking at, you may want more or less light to be able to see it better. Uh, if you try and look at something that's very transparent with a lot of light, you won't be able to make out any details, so you would dim the light. The parts of this microscope all have names, so one of your questions asks you to label some of the parts. Why don't we go over some of them? There are the eye pieces, and this is where you put your eyes. They are basically like when you look through a pair of binoculars. Right? Uh, so if we could take all of this off, it would be like a pair of binoculars and each eyepiece uh, magnifies what we're looking at 10 times. This is the uh, head of the microscope. This is the arm of the microscope that we help carry it by. And then we have the base of the microscope where it sits on the table. This platform here is the uh, stage, right? and it holds the slide in place. And you can move the slide around using, I'm going to peer over here to see, using these knobs. And these knobs go in two different directions. The bottom one goes left to right as you're looking through the microscope. And the top one goes back and forth towards and away from you when you're looking through the microscope. And using those knobs, you'll be able to put whatever is under your microscope slide under the light and right underneath the lenses that are magnifying it. Perhaps the most important part of the microscope are these objectives. There's three of them that you can see. These add magnification to the microscope to further magnify what you're looking at on your slide. And we have three different objectives on this particular microscope. The smallest one with the red ring is a 4x objective. It magnifies four times. That's what the x is for, 4x. And when we combine the magnifying power of this 4x objective, with the 10x objectives on the eyepiece, our total magnification is 40 times. That means that what we look at under the microscope is 40 times bigger than we would see with our naked eye. But in addition to this little 4x objective, we also have in yellow here a 10x objective. The 10x objective adds an additional 10 times the magnification. And it's a multiplying relationship. So the 10x of the objective combined with the 10x of the eyepieces gives us a total magnification of 100x when this particular objective is pointing down towards the stage where the slide is. These objectives are on a ring 
so I can swing different objectives into place. I just put the 40x objective into place. Yes, I did. It has a blue ring on it. It adds 40 times more magnification to what I'm looking at. And the 40x from the objective combines with the 10x from the eyepieces to give me a total magnification of 400 times the natural size of what I'm looking at under the microscope. Some microscopes can go even higher than that, but for what we're doing in this class, we're going to start stop at 40 X objective, 400 total magnification, but some of the slides I'll show you in class um, on my PowerPoint slides will be at higher magnifications than this. I'll get into how to put a slide on and focus a slide in a minute. 